When working in Illustrator using blurred effects, as well as other effects too, you might notice this problem occurring. Today I'm going to show you how to rectify this problem within a matter of seconds. Welcome back to Tutorial Graphics everybody, the home of graphic design content are right here on YouTube. So like you've seen at the start of the video, sometimes you don't get the desired result when adding certain effects in Illustrator. Such effects are often fine when you're on an RGB document, but they look terrible on CMYK documents, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate right now. In Illustrator we can press L for the ellipse tool and then create a circle by holding down shift. So say for example I want to add a Gaussian blur to this circle, I can do that by going up to the top drop down menu and finding the Gaussian blur. By checking the preview box you're able to see changes in real time to the effect that you want to add. So as you can see you get this problem here occurring, when I increase the blur to a certain point, the render looks really poor indeed. But that's okay because I've got a quick solution for you right now. Go ahead and make the blur effect anyway, and then come up to the document raster effect settings here. By increasing the amount around the object value, you can actually smoothen out the effect on the object. You might want to experiment with different values depending on the size of your effect and your design, but this method is a sure way to improve the raster blur and shadow effects on any print document within Adobe Illustrator. So I hope you found this short but sweet tutorial useful, and make sure to like and share my content if you do enjoy what I put out here at Satori Graphics. But yeah, I hope you have a great weekend and you enjoy yourself, and you're right back here on Monday for more graphic design content. So until next time, design your future today. Peace.